Good morning everyone. My name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you the out of the box experience with RNSP Designer. The overview of the applications which we can generate with RNSP, Gen RNSP Designer in under 5 minutes. Let's take a look at one of the applications. This is the application that we basically have generated by pointing RNSP Designer to the supplied Southwind database without a single line of code customizations or tweak. All we have done is, here's my database, here's my application, RNSP Designer product, go point it to the database, select the main tables like categories, customers, orders, products, and so on, and click on Generate. So as you can see, right, right out of the box, the system will display to you, very nicely put, the list of information. So these are my categories, these are my customers, so but just by clicking on a menu, it goes by default to the customer. RNSpeed is smart enough to how uh, to basically even group the fields based on how they get laid out uh, on a page for the optimal viewing. So in case we have some very long fields, they will be displayed at the bottom. All the short fields will be displayed at the top. RNSpeed is even smart enough to put address, city, state, postal code together just so that all the relevant information makes sense. On a very typical page, you have uh, two most common actions, which are the edit and delete right there on the right side, which is if you click on the edit icon, you can edit the record. It'll take us to the edit record page. And of course, uh, when you are looking at a record, if it has any child tables, they will appear at the bottom. Or I can go back to the table and click on delete to delete a record. Other actions are hidden just to make the screen not look very uh, very uh, confusing. Other actions are basically put together in a nice uh, button which is just say actions and I can add a new record, I can export the data to a PDF, Word, Excel and import which we will get to in a while. Then we have the filter button where if you want you can basically filter data by a specific company if you would like to and click go the data will get filtered and displayed to you or I can go back and say go back to the filter and say clear the filter the data all so all the filter search uh, and all the filter criteria are cleared out then we have a search bar where I can quickly type in something like Maria and of course I probably mistyped it uh, let's just make sure uh, so say for example we type in n there's of course, yes, uh, it was probably something uh, that I mistyped earlier. So I can type in any part of the contact name, company name, or email address, and the record will come. And uh, this way, if I want to clear out, I can clear out it and press the Enter key. All the system information will come back. So as you can see, this search is very, very powerful. By default, RSpeed scans the table finds out which will be the key elements or key columns and automatically does the contains search criteria for those selective columns. In this case, uh, probably it's, uh, means if I was to make a, a guess, it would be company name, contact name, and the email address, which is probably the most common fields people search when they basically have uh, to search for a record. So without going too much into how the page layout works and so on, because that I'm sure you guys can watch in some other videos, it's very easy for me to filter my data. Say for example, I go in, I can filter my data for uh, a company name or a zip code. So let's actually rather go for a zip code, some US zip code. And here we have now three records which are matching. Now when we want, we can actually export to a PDF file or a Word file. Let's just make sure we can export to PDF. Here we go. We export it to PDF. Now we are opening up the PDF document. As you can see, the system has narrowed down the filtered result set and is only showing you the columns which we are seeing on the table. And that's what basically exported in your PDF document. We can also export it to uh, basically uh, Word, Excel, Excel would be primarily used in case you are trying to do even some kind of like mail merge. So if you are trying to build a mail merge file, you want the raw data in Excel or CSV format, 
exporting to Excel allows you very quick access to the data for other users. Now, once the data is in Excel, it's really all Excel. I can really cut from here, I can paste here, whatever we would like to do. It's not anything but pure Excel at this point. In addition, if you basically would like to import, uh, we basically have created uh, one of the data. So let's go to suppliers. I would like to go through the example of an import. So I can go to and say I would like to import my data. As soon as you click on import, an import wizard will pop up where you can select the file which we would like to use to import the data. So on my C drive, I basically have now a file which I built. And this is an Excel file. Of course, uh, we can import data from the CSV file, tab delimited files, Excel documents, or access databases. And I can say here which worksheet for the 99% of Excel documents, the first, first worksheet is named as sheet one. That's why they have de defaulted it. So I can just leave it sheet one because I know in my case, it is indeed sheet one. Now, when I click on next, RSP designer out of the box is gonna read my documents, my data, show me what my data looks like. These are the two records I have. It basically shows you the sample of records. I believe first X number, probably 100. Try to go through the column names and automatically try to match what column names it will match in the existing table. As you can see in our case, the company name column match, address match, and the city match, those columns are automatically marked as the columns to be imported. We are allowed to mark non-matching columns, but in this case, we have to select there fields that they match with. So in this case, that was company name, this is contact name, and now we have a contact title. So as you can see, this import wizard becomes uh, almost a very convenient way for you to bulk load your data into your application once you have your application going, which uh, speeds up uh, the delivery process. As our first row is a column heading, RSPeed has uh, automatically checked the checkbox, which says my data has a header row. In case uh, some of the data is coming from the related tables, like for example, if you are maintaining the lookup values, by us clicking on the checkbox, update related database tables, if uh, the value that you are sending in does not exist in a related table, system will automatically create a record, bring in the ID of that newly created record into this uh, into this imported record. So as you can see, it is very, very flexible. Let's just uh, go ahead through the, uh, through the confirmation process. And of course, if there's any error, like for example, if I click uh, two columns, the same column name, and I select it to say import, system will definitely tell me you have selected multiple columns with the same imported column name. So uh, we can fix it. And in case there's any required field which is missing, uh, the system will give you an error message or if we click import, system successfully imported the data. It tells you how many records it imported, how many records it skipped because of one error or the other. And we can now search in suppliers for Bob's furniture. And as you can see, we found our record. So uh, all when we come to the actions, the add record to add a new supplier, exporting to PDF, Word, and Excel, and import comes in very, very handy. The filter tabs are really used to filter my data by one or more drop-down filter lists, or I can sort my data through one of the sorted columns. Now, what you're looking for, uh, looking here is the more of a modern themes. If you go back to the classic themes, that each column value has a heading, but since it's a more modern theme, in order to filter the data, you need to click on these sorted by column names to get the values. You, if you want to basically go back to the default view, which means no filters, no search, nothing, you can just click on reset filters. It will automatically default every single thing, filters as well as search, as you can to see in this example. So right out of the box, uh, by pointing the database, by pointing the application to the database, RSP Designer reads the metadata, reads the schema, makes some decisions, and almost builds your entire application, which is usable, which is very easy to navigate. As you can see, system has automatically made the menus for me. So I can actually go back to my, uh, my products, for example and uh, see my list of products. It's just, this demo is actually on a, like running on a laptop, folks, so that's why it may be a little bit slow. System is smart enough to know that if there's a picture, make a small thumbnail for the picture, 
if we have a product which is also related uh, which has some child tables or some related tables like in this case product belongs to a category and product can have multiple suppliers who can supply this product RN speed by default will automatically build for you the functionality where right on the main page you can see for a product what their related records would be now of course uh, there are other views for the same table so for example if you want to go to suppliers and you want to see the suppliers to be grouped by certain criteria here we can see uh, where for each supplier what we have done here is we are trying to show you more detail about uh, a supplier in a group format RSpeed also has search and edit pages which allows you to go through the bulk edit process very quickly say for example we want to find out uh, the same customers we were looking for I think it was the zip code uh, some some zip code and we can say go now RSpeed uh, is going to go through the, rec uh, the database and find me the records and these records are going to show at the bottom in what we call as an edit record mode all we need to do is click on uh, click on like the fields make the changes and just navigate away so these type of changes or these type of applications are very quickly to build in RSpeed Designer and out of the box RSpeed Designer will take care of a lot of things for you hope you like this video and this is just an introduction to iron speed that's why we do not want to go into a lot more uh, details but uh, if you keep watching other related videos uh, you will definitely see the power of this product thanks for watching